Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. It's the weekly reading for the week of September 30th to October the 6th. Your cards this week, Leo, we have the Mintican Oracle card. We have the Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, The Fool, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles and The Magician. So I'm going to kick off by reading out your Oracle card here, the Mintakan. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Mintakins are a group of souls who originated on a planet in the constellation of Orion. Orion, however you say it. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Mintakins home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakins feel most at peace or at home when surrounded by crystal clear water. They are here to teach us the potential in everything and the light in all beings. So Leo, you know, you could be a light worker and you could be one of the people that are here to um, lift their vibration to help shift the consciousness of Earth. Um, you know, you think you are awakening to that potential of yourself as a co-creator with the universe. We really do see that energy here this week. So don't forget who you are, Leo. Um, every time you feel that vibration dropping, every time you feel yourself um, dropping into negativity, you know, remember that you are here to live a high vibrational life. Um, it is part of your soul's purpose. Okay, so let's get started here with the Four of Swords and the Fall. Okay, recent past Leo. Some of you have been taking a little tea for time out. You know, the Four of Swords is somebody who is a bit weary from the battle, from the battle of life. Maybe you've sort of, you know, been in the trenches for a period of time. By that I mean, you know, you've been... Um, a little bit weighed down, doing the hard work, doing the hard yards, that kind of thing. Maybe some of you um, are potentially recovering from some pain, some heartbreak, some grief, some hurt, because we have that reference here to the Three of Swords. Some of you might be at a bit of a crossroads in your life and you're just taking that time out to recollect your thoughts, to regroup, to come up with a new battle plan. Because, you know, you still have this one sword here that's just ready to, you know, grasp when you get up from this um, this little time out. You are ready, almost ready to get back into the world I'm seeing. But you needed that pause. You needed that little um, time in the space in between to really sort of figure out, to rest, to, to you know, let go of anything that was holding you from that previous situation, to sort of open. I don't know how many of you know this word, but um, in computer terms, to defrag, to let go of all those little pieces of information that no longer belong in your hard drive so that you're creating space for something new. And that's what we see here of this full energy. This is when you just get to that, that tipping point where your energy is recovered enough to jump up, grab this new sword here with a new battle plan and get back into life on a completely new journey under the full energy. Strong, strong, strong new beginnings. It's time to walk a new path here. You know, the fool asks you to take that leap of path, le le sorry. <laughs> the fool asks you to take that leap of faith and walk that new path, even though you don't necessarily know where the destination will be. But I, I can tell you from looking at what's coming, that destination is full of promise and hope for you. You know, of course there's going to be mountains to scale along the way, but the full energy is about not being concerned about that, but just having faith in the universe that you're on the right track and setting out on the journey anyway. Trust your instincts as you go, carry a light load. You know, this journey is going to offer you true um, growth along the way. But you are being guided, you know, we have elements of divine guidance in this reading, so I really feel that you should trust this new beginning. You know, for some of you, yes, it could be a new relationship, could be a new job, could just be a new outlook on life that you have. Some of you may even be, you know, relocating towns, homes, that kind of thing. That's the energy we see in the fall. So a very new, fresh start beginning. It can also be about, you know, tuning into that rebel heart energy. So some of you might be pursuing um, a new beginning that's really aligns with your true soul's calling rather than what society um, expects you to be doing. 
So this week, focus energies, yeah, I mean, because under that full energy, the universe really wants you to, you know, take up on a new opportunity that's coming in. Here we see the manifestations of new beginnings along that um, new journey. You know, that, that three of pentacles can be about being an apprentice in life again, learning a new skill, coming together with other people and collaborating, teamwork, getting together with like-minded people, maybe people that you also feel are light workers or that carry the same frequency and starting to build something together. So some of you might be finding like-minded people or, or a mentor or something like that to help you along this journey. But with number three here, this is all about the manifestation of new beginnings, really starting to um, get a footing on this new journey and really starting to build that new life for yourself. Because the universe, you know, it says that it's time for that to happen. You're literally being past the baton, you know, getting past that wand. And, you know, soon in the future, you're going to be learn to be the absolute master of using that wand. But this week we see you starting to learn how to use it, starting to learn how to manifest everything you need along this new path, along this new journey. And there's real, real growth on offer, real spiritual transformation um, this is you becoming re-inspired in life again, becoming excited, you know, having an adventurous spirit. So you could be, I really get the sense here in this reading that some of you are starting something completely new, but it's something that you've always wanted to do in life. So you could be actually beginning to work towards a dream that you've always wanted to make happen. It's something that it's, you know, it's, it's your time now. That's what I'm hearing. It's not about what everyone else wants you to do. This is your time to do that thing that you've always wanted to do. And I think it's going to be highly successful for you. Because look at this here, Leo. You know what? If these two cards are kind of like your infancy this week of the situation, here we have the maturing of that. We have someone who's going from being past a wand to the master of a wand. We have someone who's beginning to manifest and build a new future to somebody who's living in the full abundance of that reality. You know, this is what's um, coming in the near future for you. Like I said, becoming your own master creator of your own reality, co-creating with the universe, tapping into both, you know, the spiritual realms and the universal energy and your physical, practical, tangible, earthly skills. And from where those two meet, there's a real power for creating what you truly deserve and desire in your life. And once you realize that, you know, your potential is just infinite, unlimited. You have all the tools and skills you need to create true material and um, emotional abundance for yourself. And that's what we see here in the Ten of Pentacles. This Three of Pentacles reality if you can be that creator, if you can live that high vibrational frequency, because that's the place to manifest from, this is what's on offer for you. You know, Ten of Pentacles is about that reality of having it all, you know, having the, the family, the home, the pets, the generational living. Um, it can be about having the ultimate sense of security and stability in your life, not needing or wanting from any, for anything else, because you know you've got the power to create everything you need, um, you know, it's that you've made it and it's number 10. You've completed that kind of um, abundance journey. Wouldn't that be amazing to get to that place in your life? So I really feel, Leo, that this journey that you're about to step onto, if you're feeling, you know, unsure about it, I say go for it because it looks like there's a promise of true abundance here for you. But sometimes we just need to trust. We just need to have hope and faith that the journey will lead us to the destination we always hoped for. That's what I have for you, Leo. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind it is a general reading. It won't be for every one of you. Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll be back here for another reading with you next week.